in red, we have a plot of this thing. The sort of red, jagged, vertical line, if we were doing this by hand, we would draw as a dashed line. But Maple can't really do a dashed line, so Maple drew it as if it's a solid line. And what's going on here is that, first of all, this function is not defined at all at x equals 0. So if we were doing this by hand, we could put open circles at those two points. And this function is jumping from negative 1 to 1 as x passes through 0. Now, the limit result is supposed to be a number that the curve approaches as x heads towards its special value from both sides. And since we have this jump, this two-sided limit does not exist. And so let me write that down. So the two-sided limit does not exist. By two-sided, I mean that x is approaching 0 from, from both sides. Now, there are also one-sided limits. And we could look at the limit as x approaches 0 from bigger values. This plus sign that I put on the 0 is indicating x is approaching 0 from bigger values. We could also say this as x is approaching 0 from the right. And this limit looks at what happens as x simply approaches 0 from the right. And you can see that from the right, f of x is consistently at value 1, and as x heads towards 0, f of x simply stays at value 1. There is also a one-sided limit as x approaches 0 from smaller values. And so we can look at this one-sided limit as well. This is the one-sided limit as x approaches 0 from the left. And you can see that the function is keeping a consistent value of negative 1 here as x approaches 0 from the left. And the limit is, in fact, negative 1. These one-sided limits exist despite the fact that the function does not even exist at x equals 0. Now, the fact that the two one-sided limits are not equal is the reason why the two-sided limit does not exist. Now, if this result seems weird, you could try some values of x close to 0 and just confirm the results. So for instance, just looking at the function absolute value of x over x, if x equals, let's say, 0.01, then f of 0.01 would be absolute value of 0.01 divided by 0.01. Absolute value of 0.01 is 0.01, and 0.01 over 0.01 is 1. That's a reflection of our one-sided limit from the right. From the left, if we let x equal negative 0.01 as a value close to 0 but on the left, f of negative 0.01 would be absolute value of negative 0.01 divided by negative 0.01. The numerator goes positive due to the absolute value. The denominator is negative. We get 0.01 over negative 0.01 giving us negative 1. And that's reflective of our one-sided limit from the left. And again, all the investigations we're doing here are not proofs of these limit results, but they give us support for the limit results. And for the two-sided limit, again, our conclusion here is simply that this two-sided limit does not exist.